okay, we're going to be looking at um, finding the exact values um, both of trig ratios and the value of the angles that they make um, when particular points are on the terminal arm in the Cartesian plane. So the first question I have here, we're looking for angle theta when point P is on the terminal arm and point P is coordinate 6, 5. The first thing that you should always do is just graph that point. So the goal is really just to place it fairly accurately in the, in the correct quadrant. So I know that my P would go over 6, up 5, so probably about there. That means that my terminal arm goes up like this. And I'm going to be looking for the angle that goes from the standard position to that terminal arm. So I can see that that angle is going to be between 0 and 90 degrees. And it would help if I had a triangle that I could label and then maybe use my Sokotoa rules. And I can create a triangle just by envisioning a line coming down to the x-axis and that makes a right angle triangle there. To label the sides of this triangle, I just look back to the point P and it's based on the coordinates that I plotted. I know that I went over six units on the x-axis. That side now is six. And I went up five units on the y-axis, so that side is five. So this already is helping me label this particular triangle and therefore create one of the trig ratios. Since my focus angle down here in the corner, um, if I was to label my sides, you know, opposite, adjacent, and hypotenuse, I would find that this is my opposite side, this is my hypotenuse, and here's my adjacent. And that means that I know my opposite and adjacent, and from my Sokotoa rules, I determine that I want to use tan theta. And my exact value of this angle is opposite, over adjacent, 5 over 6. And often that's all the question is asking you to do, is just come up with that ratio. If you want to go a little further and, and actually find the angle, you just have to use your calculator and your inverse button. So theta is going to equal tan inverse of 5 over 6. And on my calculator that comes up to be, and I'm going to round here to a whole number, that comes up to be 40 degrees. All right. Sometimes the questions are going to ask you to find all three ratios, so um, sine, cos, and tan. If I wanted to know sine, I would need to know the hypotenuse side. And to find the hypotenuse side, I can just use Pythagorean theorem really quick. So I'm going to do that down here. 5 squared plus 6 squared is going to equal the hypotenuse squared. So 25 plus 36 gives me 61. So the hypotenuse is root 61. So, and I'm going to leave that as an exact value as that radical root 61 because if I convert it to a decimal, I'm losing accuracy. So if your question asked you to find the sine ratio for this angle in here, I would now make that to be the opposite over the hypotenuse, root 61. And I can use the tan ratio or I can use the sine ratio to determine that angle. And just for your own benefit, take a minute in your calculator and prove to yourself that the sine inverse of 5 over root 61 also will give you 40 degrees. Okay, So we'll do the next question over here. I'll change my color. So our point P is 2, negative 4. That means that my point 2, negative 4, approximately there, falls in the fourth quadrant. And I'm going to have to approach this question just a little bit different towards the end to actually find out what the the angle is because remember I'm looking for the angle that goes from the standard position all the way around to the terminal arm so this angle is going to be between 270 degrees and 360 degrees so my first step 
is to draw in that right angle triangle and I'm always drawing that right angle triangle back to the x-axis. We never work off of the 270 degree or the 90 degree. Okay. And I label the sides of my triangle. I know that I went over 2 on the x-axis and I went down 4. And I'm just going to use the tan ratio here for this one. So if I was to label my sides based on my focus angle in here, this is my opposite, adjacent, and hypotenuse. So because I have opposite and adjacent, I'm going to use tan. Uh, negative 4 over 2. And just going to take the inverse of that, and I ignore the negative sign. It's not going to give you the exact answer that you're looking for. If anything, it kind of makes you, have to, makes you have to interpret things a little bit different. So I just ignore it for the time being. And in my calculator, when I take the tan inverse of 4 over 2, I get, if I'm rounding to a whole number, I get 63 degrees. Well, I know that the angle that starts here at the standard position and works its way all the way around is not 63 degrees. It's the little one in red that I indicated. So the way that I figure out the angle theta that the question is actually asking me for, that theta actually is 360 minus that 63. And if I've rounded correctly and done my math right, I get 297. So I just use my own common sense about what I have to subtract the angle that I got from the tan inverse from so that I can find out what the angle theta is that the question is actually referring to. And that's everything.